Now let us discuss what is tolerance stackup analysis. Tolerance stackup analysis is uh, stacking the components within available space. All the components in assembly should fit in as required. The thickness should be sufficient as required. So this is what uh, tolerance stackup analysis accommodating accommodating the component within available space. If you see these images, like these are also kind of stacking the things. See this a bike having uh, six, seven people, though it, there was no space, still it got accommodated over there, right? See this truck, how the things are stacked over there. So stack up analysis is to know within available space, am I able to uh, fit all the components or no? So this is in simple language, that is what tolerance stack up analysis is within available space accommodating the components in assembly that is what stack up analysis is that we get to know about that so that is what tolerance stack up analysis tolerance stack up analysis is the way to find out minimum or maximum gap or interference in a part level or assembly level so we can uh, get to know whether uh, there are going to be some interferences or no this is also called as a gap analysis. This is this tolerance stack up analysis is also called a gap analysis. Generally, we evaluate minimum and maximum gap and we figure out that it is going to work for us or no. So that is what gap analysis using this tool. We can optimize the tolerances. If we are giving too loose tolerance, we can tighten it up as required. And if we are too conservative, giving too tight tolerance, by doing this, we get to know that, okay, need not to have that, that tight tolerance so we can loosen it up. So in that way, it can control the machining cost as well. So by doing tolerance stack up analysis, we can control the machining cost as well. That is what tolerance stack up analysis is. Now uh, let us discuss about a case study that is a came and came guide uh, profile where uh, uh, tolerances got issues the dimensioning style got issues and it costed a lot uh, to the vendor to the manufacturer so what was the assembly and what was the drawing is suppose this is a came guide uh, a plate uh, having this this these slots are there that is a came guide and uh, this is a protrusion over there if i look into the side views this is something like this this slot goes there and this 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 piece is protrusion over there on the surface and the keem has to pass through all the way and this is the dimensioning style a chain dimensioning is followed each in individual these step heights are given over there so this is the drawing given for this plate and slot dimensioning and now let us see in the assembly how how it is working over there this is the plate and the came moving over there if you see this came is moving over there and it passes through all the way till there it starts from there and it moves all along there uh, i cannot explain it functionalities and all but this is the assembly suppose and the chain dimensioning is given over there now suppose worst case got manufactured in worst case what hap what might happen that this slot get moves too closer to this protrusion that we discussed so it may be possible that these are too closer and when came passes it moves in the assembly and it goes through that protrusion and it may be chance that it is too nearby to each other and it gets stuck over there it this gets stuck over there and it's not passing through because uh, because of the dimensioning methodology and all this slot and this thing is too near to each other so that might be a scenario and we need to counter this with tolerance stack up analysis so by doing tolerance stack up analysis before these gets manufactured we can uh, get know the reasons and we can counter that as well so let us see that now let us see that uh, what might be a problem and what we can do this is the dimensioning style right every feature is dimensioned in a chain so it may be possible that uh, 
all these are manufactured on its ex extreme like uh, 24 uh, 2.47 3.31 2.27 3.39 so if it gets manufactured like this due to all these tolerances are getting dumped over there so that is 0 0.04 that movement this surface movement will be from mean it will be 0 0.04 because all these tolerances are getting dumped and this tolerance is also affecting over there so to counter that this is a lot uh, of uh, tolerances are getting dumped and we can minimize that we can study we can do the tolerance stack up analysis and we will get to know that what is going to happen over there the came will stuck over there so we can uh, find it out that and we can update the drawing in a way these are all dimensions that is contributing to that gap we can identify that and we can minimize those dimension instead of giving chain dimension for all at least for this surface what we can do we can directly dimension from the A's. we can directly dimension from there we can uh, give these two dimension only so in a way what will happen these two surfaces are directly controlled from a single surface and this only tolerance that is going to affect it so in in a way we can improve the dimensioning style by doing tolerance stack up analysis and we can save the cost sometime what may happen that uh, it got manufactured and it may cost cost in million dollars as well suppose this plate is too critical now it got manufactured but it's not working so we have to get it manufactured again and that's a lead time over there so lots of time gets lot and that's a cost time is a cost over there now so that is why tolerance stack up analysis is needed now let us move to another case study let us discuss uh, another case study that is ceiling plug assembly suppose uh, there is uh, there is assembly like this it has a thread over there and it has a thread over there it is going to be assembled and this is a ceiling uh, slot means it's for o-ring slot over there o-ring groove now o-ring will be there and it will get assembled there is a thread connections over there so this is the assembly now let us see why we need tolerance stack up analysis in this case see this uh, this is a critical gap for us that is a extrusion gap and we will uh, we need to maintain it a critically particular value extrusion gap should not be more and should not be too tight for the ceiling requirements so this is the dimensioning given on the drawing now this is thread dimension given over there this is thread dimension for the for that uh, that may be acme thread or whatever that thread is and then we are mostly interested in these two dimensions how this is going to be assembled and what will happen if we do not do tolerance stack up analysis over there so we need tolerance stack up analysis over there let's see why now let us see what is going to happen with that ceiling plug assembly so um, here as we know we are mostly interested in these two dimensions right what we can do we can calculate mmc of plug and mmc of the ceiling id both is almost there in first go you will see in a worst case and uh, case it is going to be same there will be at least some extrusion gap whenever it gets manufactured at uh, its mean dimension so it seems okay in first go but you know we haven't considered the effect of these runout tolerances these runout tolerances we haven't considered this runout tolerance suppose the form is perfect that circularity is perfect over there so it is equivalent to that position tolerance if if it is perfectly round this this runout is equivalent to position tolerance so in that case if, if both uh, are not that aligned with the axis of that thread or the datum a so that will create a problem in assembly and that we also need to include in tolerance stack up analysis after that we can analyze what will be the minimum or maximum extrusion gap so in such cases as well we need tolerance stack up analysis simple calculation will not uh, work over 
as we have seen a uh, couple of case studies now why we need tolerance stack up analysis let us move towards further learning steps to be followed in tolerance stack up analysis the methodology the loop diagram stack up table and all but before uh, starting that let us learn how we decide a particular tolerance value that remains major question uh, in our mind so let us discuss how we can decide a particular tolerance value and then we will uh, move towards main course